Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday. I got back from a little island road trip and I was just getting my life back on track. So today I thought I'd just take you through a little day in the life of a part-time student, full-time working person, employee, <laughs> whatever you want to call me. So I have just, I woke up relatively early and started on some of my Google work already this morning. I had quite a few quite a few validations to assess so I've done those now I managed to get quite a few of them done before the day even started while I was having my coffee so that's good I am now if you're wondering what I'm doing <laughs> I am currently feeding the hounds because they are hungry and it's breakfast time and so if you hear them making noise it's because they are asking for their food are you guys hungry? Do you want breakfast? Now you're quiet. Are you guys want feedings? That's probably a slightly better angle. So yeah, so I've just gotten up. I I've had a coffee, but I haven't done I haven't done morning. Uh, skincare or makeup or anything like that I just kind of dove straight into straight into work this morning and yeah darling do you want food today I've got quite a bit of work that I need to do uh, my plan is to spend the morning doing a fair bit of Google stuff completing a couple more validations and then I will edit the podcast. Chanel and I recorded the podcast episode last night for this week so I need to go and edit that and I'll leave a link to our podcast in the description box. It was so much fun doing the podcast with Chanel because uh, we'll both be going to Oxford next year. And that is, well, not next year, goodness gracious, we'll both be going to Oxford in October for our masters. And that is just so exciting. So, so exciting. So I, so I need to edit that today so that it is ready to go up tomorrow. And then I need to do this week's lectures on Virginia Woolf. So that's the plan. If you see like this gross raw food, it's what we feed our dogs is like raw meat basically. Um, that we get from a local, um, local pet store and they love it, but it's gross to look at essentially so apologize for that yeah so let's let's go through the day and I'll check in frequently and let's see how we get on with the plan today um, I'm also hoping I will finish my book um, which is the Sunbeams Jess book club March book club book um, stay with me pop a little pick right here um it's absolutely brilliant i got into reading it last night when i got into bed and yeah that's enough food for you um <laughs> i got into reading it last night when i got into bed and i was so absorbed before i knew it it was like midnight so i i have about 50 pages left so I wanted to just push through and finish it last night but I knew that if I did that I would be exhausted today and 
so I didn't do that. I went to bed like a responsible adult. That's, that's the plan today. Finish up some validations for Google. Um, edit the podcast, do my lectures, and finish my book. And then I'm trying to decide what to read next. I think I need to dive back into my TBR. Um, for this year, I've only read three, I think, or four books from my 2023 TBR. And I have a goal to read 30 this year. So I, I think I need to jump on that. Um, and pick, pick a book from my, my 2023 TBR and start getting those numbers um, looking more healthy. So I'll check in with you guys a bit later. Right, um, hi everyone. Welcome to my bathroom. Uh, I just washed my face and I'm just gonna do a quick uh, skincare. I'm having a few breakouts, but I think that's from being away and traveling and all that kind of stuff. But I actually thought I just wanted to pop on here because yesterday my uh, YouTube video about Goodreads review went low and I was having a chat with Katie, the vintage academic, I'll leave a link to her channel down below yesterday about Goodreads and essentially I've kind of decided to not use Goodreads and let me know if you want a full video on this but I am I'm going to be deleting my my Goodreads account and only using Storygraph. And there are a number of reasons why I want to do this, but let me know if you'd actually be interested in me posting a video about why I think Storygraph is superior to Goodreads. Essentially, I've just come to the realization that I don't buy a lot of things on Amazon. I actively avoid it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actively avoid it. And I don't want to support Amazon as a company. Um, so I would like to move away from Goodreads and I found uh, last year I started using Storygraph and I actually found it superior in so many ways. I thought the user interface was just incredible and the fact that there's so many more sort of status categories. Um, you know, you can be reading, want to read, DNF, do not finish, or, you know, a bunch of other things. You can have buddy reads, which I think is so cool. I was doing a buddy read with a friend of mine recently, and we often do it for book club as well. We'll do buddy reads. More than anything, I just think it's the fact that I don't want to support Amazon anymore. I have obviously bought from them in the past, and I just, I just don't want to do it anymore. I want to support local where I can, um, support uh, female owned businesses where I can, which I believe Storygraph is. And yeah, so just a quick update there from my side 
and a note to always use SPF even if you're staying indoors all day so yeah I'm gonna just pop that on there if you are interested in finding out why Storygraph is better let me know I will I'll happily make a video about that so if you follow me on Goodreads you may have to get Storygraph from here on out and you'll be the better for it so that is me done quick easy put on some makeup and then let's get to work hello friends so i'm just checking in i have done a bit more google work um i have done my skincare put on some makeup um i'm ready to tackle the rest of the day i think i've still got a bit to do for google so i will finish that up and then i will begin editing the podcast um that chanel and i did but i actually i just changed out of my jumper into a shirt i'm so excited about that because it's starting to get warm enough that i can actually wear my shirts again and that just makes me really really happy but i thought that i would just jump on here because i got sent a very exciting package the other day from the book resort which is a local irish company and they send you book boxes essentially um for my american viewers it's like book of the month but the irish version of it so i thought i would open it up and have a look at what we have in here oh my gosh it's so cute so got some chocolate always exciting what's this Three Hill Soap Soothing Bath Bath Soap Oatmeal and Coconut Milk. Oh my goodness me, that is so lovely. I actually love Three Hill Soap. They're another local Irish company. They have amazing things, um, and I've bought from them before tons of times. A good pair of socks, always needed. Bamboo socks. That's so cute. Seam free. Oh, interesting. Oh, fun. Okay. Well, that's good. I will give that a try. Got a little card. Who's love me a card? I feel like cards have just like disappeared. Does anyone else feel like that? That cards have disappeared? Oh my gosh, guys, look how cute that is. Also made in Ireland. See, I love this. All the local bits. And it just says, congratulations. That's so cute. I love that. Ah, and then, what is this? Is this a sticker? Avril Lucy Tattoo, Etsy Shop, Avril Lucy Art. Oh, interesting. I think that's a sticker. I'm not sure, I'll double check, I'll see what that is, but that's super cute. Always a bookmark, always necessary. Does anyone else find this? They have like, I have a full jar of bookmarks on my bookshelf and I never actually use them. I just collect really pretty bookmarks all the time and then I end up just putting them in the jar and not using them. I'll use like receipts as bookmarks while I'm reading. Um, does anyone else do that? Just me? Possibly just me. But yeah, anyway. And then the main thing we get to is the book. Okay, this is Payday by Celia Walden. Oh, this is interesting. Late one night, three women share secrets. They barely know each other, but all they but they all know Jamie Lawrence. They know what he's guilty of. They agree something must be done. But as their plan spirals out of control, they begin to doubt themselves and each other. Then Jamie is found dead. Suddenly everything is at stake. 
As lies are unraveled, the truth exposed, two urgent questions emerge. Who emerge? Who is really guilty and who will have to pay? Oh, exciting. A good murder mystery. I love that. Absolutely loved it. Celia Walden. I've never actually heard of her, but she studied at Cambridge. That's pretty cool. First thriller novel. Interesting. If you've read any Cecilia Walden, please do let me know. Let me know what you think. I am not a massive thriller person. The closest I've gotten is like um, Donna Tart and what was the other one that I liked that I read? Um, oh, The Witch Elm. The Witch Elm was really, really good. Uh, so. I'm not much of a thriller person, but this does kind of have like Bad Sisters vibes. If anyone hasn't watched Bad Sisters on Apple TV, oh my goodness, you have to go watch it. It's absolutely brilliant. It kind of has that kind of vibe. So maybe I need to branch out in my reading and try this out for size. But thank you so much to the book resort for sending me all these goodies. It is gorgeous. I will leave a link down below to where you can sign up to the book resort. This isn't sponsored, by the way. This is just totally me raving over a local Irish company. Um, and yeah, if you're in Ireland, support local business. That's what we're here for. Um, yeah. Okay, let me get on with some Google work on my keep and i'll see you guys soon we're gonna say hi to miss katie who's gonna help me edit the podcast because i am failing miserably actually been super super easy and it's been a good kind of a good fit overall um but yeah i don't know i feel very busy and like Hi everyone, just checking in. I, um, as you can tell, it's the next day. I ended up working really, really late last night editing the podcast. So today I am just gonna take it easy and wear my comfy clothes. It's really cold and miserable in here today and I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna get cracking on that, but I hope you enjoyed this little snippet and let me know if you would like to see more. Thanks, bye.